I'm an escort. He's supposed to be here in about a half an hour. So I'm just trying to get my makeup on and look right so that I'm ready when he gets here. My clients come to my house. I charge anywhere between $200 and $350 an hour. I see one or two clients a day. My husband is not home when I see a client. Jerry is at his job. I work during the days. So. I'm always gone when she sees a client. She does what she does to make a living. That's her choice. I don't dictate what she does or what she doesn't do. My clientele is mainly businessmen and professionals. It's a very relaxed atmosphere. Most of them are regulars. I take a clean size sheet and cover my bed before each client. You know, I take my shower and do my hair and makeup. They leave my donation in an envelope on my dresser. Then they go back into their life. I go back into mine and Jerry comes home. We don't really talk about it. It's just normal life. No, it's not. You say it's just normal life. You know that's nothing normal about that, right? No, I, I've done it for so long, Dr. Phil, that to me it is normal. Okay, that's normal for you. Right. But you understand that's not statistically normal. Yes, I understand. I have questions at two levels here that has to do with how your relationship is where it is. One level of question is you know, why that's okay with him, but the other question is why this is okay with you that this has become your occupation. And then the other is how you feel about it being okay with the man that supposedly is your knight in shining armor. He was supposed to take you away from all this, right? No, we never made an agreement he would take me away from all this. That was never an agreement. Um, this was Did you marry him with the expectation that you would be doing this 27 years later? No. So you didn't expect to continue to be doing this, so your expectations have been violated. Well, I guess in some way, yes, you, you could say that, yes. I did say that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, but I'm saying, what do you say to yourself? You, you got into this many years ago, and now you're where you were back then, mm -hmm. and nothing has changed in that regard. Is that okay with you? Or are you disappointed in that? I'm very disappointed in that. It hurts very much. Okay. It, it hurts me very deep down inside. It, it kills me. Okay, and you're interested in my input as to whether or not you should leave this situation, whether you should divorce Jerry or try to fix this situation. Yes, right? that's true. But I also want to know, you know, if he's a narcissist, if he's got sociopathic or psychopathic tendencies, because this all plays into a realm. I've done research on it. It all plays into a realm of why men behave a certain way. Uh -huh. And Dr. Google has defined for you <laughs> what narcissism is and, and you think that he's a candidate. Oh, and, and you're asking, because you say, I don't want to depend on Dr. Google, I want some input. I want some input from, from somebody that actually knows. Right. Not Dr. Google, somebody that knows. Right. And you're saying that there's zero trust left in this relationship. Yes, that's absolutely true. Okay, is there zero trust from your end? No. Okay, so you trust her. I do. But she doesn't trust you. Absolutely not. She thinks you're still playing games on the internet, contacting women, looking at pornography, okay. engaging at least on the internet, if not in the real world. She's uh, suspicious of that. Uh, she accuses me of it all the time. Okay. And does that surprise you? No, I mean, obviously some of my past behavior has caused me to deserve that kind of distrust. Well, that's where the relationship started, right? You were married with children, right? Yes. And you met him when he was married with children? Yes. So this relationship started with cheating? Correct. Not on my part. Oh, no, it did. You, you were no. involved in this. You no, were involved no, with a married no, 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 man no. with children. No. He cheated on somebody to be with you. Not my problem, not my wife. Oh, it is your problem, because if they'll do it with you, they'll do it to you. That, I have heard that. 